All right. So, uh, hey, Glenn. Yeah. So, first of all, thanks for uh, calling me out. Um, I'm just about to read this whole post. I actually didn't read the whole thing. I was about to jump on a Zoom client call, and I just saw that it was from a friend I trust and respect who doesn't participate in drama, and I saw this much, and then I had to jump on my call, and then I also scanned through and just saw a little bit at the end. Okay, interesting. Thought it was definitely worthy of sharing, and he, I, put, I did exactly the way he did. He had not my words. And I just copied and pasted it, threw it up there, and just knew it was worthy of looking at later. And I just trusted, because I know this guy, that this is a unique perspective on, on what's going on. Um, and then I just want to say, before I read this, yeah. Yeah, so just before I read it, just moving the screens here. Um, I think, yeah, what I just want to share with you is what I already know I'm going to say after reading it and fully getting the opinion. And it's the following. And I might be way off. I might not even understand the context of that post yet, this post yet. Uh, but this is what I thought it was like somehow related to directly or indirectly. You know, the mask, you know, should we wear a mask? And here's my answer to that, that it's personal and I respect everybody's choice. You know, I find it's just more peaceful for me to live accordance with a lot of what's said in this uh, spiritual book that I, and one of the things it says is that we avoid controversy and argument it tells me to do that in that book. And, and I may not be great at it, but this is definitely a time for me to look at decisions that, and how I respond to things related to COVID and the mask and all that and Trump and all that, right, is to say that um, I just, my motivation for whatever ever I'm communicating is ultimately, ideally, I do want to avoid controversy and argument, and sometimes I, I don't. Um, but this is one of those times because it's not because I care about people's judgment. I mean, no matter what I put, people are going to like it and hate it, right? Who cares? For me, I just want to say it doesn't matter what my opinion is on the mask or why I wear a mask when I wear a mask. But because I've been asked, I want to let you know this. When the mask first came out and you know, people were terrified. I don't know if you remember that, that first week, you go to a bank and you're standing beside someone and they're, uh, think you're going to kill them, you know, because you're five feet instead of six, you know, you got, you saw the looks on people. It was terror. And that was when I realized for me, that's the virus that, and given that a lot of my work is working with people with anxiety and worry addictions and you know all kinds of stress my god and i've lived that stress myself be living as an alcoholic crack addict for 17 years in my way distant past um i know what it's lo like to live in that uh, obsessive worry world and it is for that reason that i wear a mask uh, i wear the mask for others it's uh scary enough for a lot of people, not me, like I'm holding back the tears. I happen to be in a, in a blessed place because I'm uh, more than I was before COVID. After COVID, I got back to my roots and look and I'm looking at living this book a little better. And I and I'm teaching it at the same time on occasion. So You know, the people that are saying, wear a fucking mask. Like, there's part of me is like, wear a fucking mask. What's the problem? But I don't say that because that's the terror and fear in those people that are voicing the fear as rage and anger and, and hatred. It's just terror being expressed on two different sides. So I wear a mask for one reason and one, only, one reason only.
I don't want people to feel more scared than they already are when I'm in around them or they see me even. And one thing I know is wearing a mask, um, at least for me, seems like the path of least resistance. It's not too difficult to put on a mask, whether I think the mask works or it doesn't work or whether my civil rights have been breached or whatever. It's just like, how could I not wear a mask? Even if I truly believe I don't need a mask because my personal beliefs just might be that I believe if I ever got the virus, it was because I was afraid and I attracted it somehow. Again, I don't want to start an argument there. I know that what I just said is ridiculous. Maybe it's true. Maybe it's not. I don't know. I just like that viewpoint for right now. So I didn't even tell people to wear a mask. I wash my hands, you know, out of respect for someone else who thinks it's important that I wash my hands or that person might worry about me. So in private, I wash my hands and that person doesn't even have to know that I do other than I said, I wash my hands now because that person's worry problem is uh, severe enough that if it got any worse, um, like it would hurt the person. So for me, I do things that I know I don't need to do and I do them joyfully and I smile. And who knows, maybe they saved my life. Maybe in the end, it turned out that the mask was important. So was washing my hands. And even if I just did it for other, for other people, maybe that saved my own life for all I know, right? So in other words, what am I saying? I don't know. I don't have an opinion on Trump and all this stuff that is that is is useful to share that 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 is useful to share on Facebook in posts apparently it, it triggers a lot of negative emotion and anger and maybe that's a good thing for people that are so depressed because of the worry that the anger is progress for them and it gives them some relief to rage out the anger to get out of the depression so I can't judge that either So my truth is, why would I argue with you guys, you know, my friends, even if they're, they're just, just Facebook friends, why would I argue? What good could come of that? But now, you know, here's my view on it all. Everybody's right. You're right. Everybody's right. You're right. And the people you think are wrong, you're right that they're wrong and they're wrong and they're right. Like, what does it matter? All I know is I choose to avoid controversy and argument to the best of my ability in this area. When it comes to my businesses or, you know, brands, I might have no issue causing controversy or an argument. But this is not about business. This is about humanity. And so my friend on Facebook, who was just a Facebook friend of mine two days before he posted that comment, I've already forgot his name. I think it was Doug or Glenn. I just want to thank you profoundly for uh, allowing God to use you to call me out responsibly to share a viewpoint now that I had posted that post. I'd like, it's just beautiful. Thanks for calling me on it. And I hope this message is useful for someone.